Welcome to Data Doctor's video, Suggestion 802, Empty Profile. Suggestion 802 is caused when there is nothing in the profile. There should at least be the biography and sources headings with the unsourced template at the top. The suggestion for an empty profile is usually accompanied by one of the suggestions for no dates. So it would be best if we looked for sources rather than simply added the headings. Here is the suggestion report for Daniel Brandt. There are two suggestions, 134, no dates, and 802, empty profile. The info column shows nothing for 802, but for 134 gives an estimated birth date of 1859, March 24. Here is the public view of Daniel's profile. While the data section shows his wife and one son, the only text in the biography section states nobody has entered any text or sources for Daniel yet. As you can see, there are no headings or even an unsourced template. We could just add the unsourced template, the biography heading, and then the sources heading with the references tag below that. Let's see if we can't do better than that for Daniel. On the public view of Daniel's profile, let's start by checking his Changes tab. It shows nothing. Next, look at his relatives for information. Hover over his wife's name until an info box appears. There is no information there. Hover over his son's name. That shows Frank was born in 1879 in Pennsylvania. Click on his name to get to his profile. There is no information in the biography section. Since we have his birth information, let's look for sources. Hover over Frank's Wikitree ID on the top right. At the drop-down menu, click on Research. Root Search gives us several sites to choose from. Since Family Search is free, let's start there. Note, you have to be logged into that site first. On Family Search, narrow the criteria to Census Records. On the left of the screen, scroll to Restrict Records By and below that, click on Type. Check the Census box, then click Update. There is a 1900 U.S. Census for Frank Brand in Pennsylvania, born March 1879. It lists Daniel and Ellen as his parents. On the far right, click on the icon. The Census record shows Daniel was born in 1840 in Pennsylvania and that he married in 1867. Keep that tab open and return to Daniel's profile. As we did for Frank, click on Research for Daniel. On the Root Search page, add 1840 for the birth year and Pennsylvania for the birthplace. Click on Family Search. The second entry is for Find a Grave. Click on the icon on the far right then, on the next screen, click on the link to that memorial. There is a headstone photo which shows a birth date of January 18, 1840, and a death date of May 27, 1904. It also has an inscription about his service in the Civil War. The National Park Service, a free site, has entries for the Civil War. It lists Daniel Brand, shown with Company D, the 184th Regiment, Pennsylvania, which confirms the find-a-grave information. We could search for further clues, but for this video, we found sufficient sources to address both suggestions concerning the empty profile with no dates. Return to Daniel's profile and click on Edit. In the data section, add his birth date and place and mark both certain. Do the same for his death information. In the biography section, make sure the headings are in place, complete with the references tag. Write a short bio. Now we add the sources we found. Let's start with Find a Grave. 
return to the memorial and scroll to the end. Click on Source Citation. Copy the text that appears. In the Biography section of Daniel's profile, put the cursor after the death year of 1904 and click the Citation button above. Paste the Find a Grave source between the ref tags. Add the Wikitree Find a Grave template and delete the first URL. Go to the Family Search 1900 U.S. Census. On the bottom right, click on Document Information. Copy the source citation that appears. On Daniel's profile, put the cursor after Pennsylvania and as before, add the source. For precise information, I added in 1900 to the biography. Now we need to name that reference. Ref name equals 1900 census. Copy that and paste it after the marriage year of 1867. Add a forward slash at the end of the tag. Go to the National Parks Service site for the Civil War information. Copy the URL for Daniel Brand. On Daniel's page, when the reference tags are in place, identify the URL as the National Parks Service. Then copy the URL between brackets. Add the Civil War category. First, place the cursor above the biography heading. To the immediate left of the citation button, click on the category icon. A box appears asking for the name of the category you want. Type in 184th Regiment, Pennsylvania Infantry, United States Civil War. If the category is there, it will appear in blue letters below the box. Click on that and Wikitree adds the category template. With the difference in the spelling of his last name in different records, we need to leave research notes. Create a research notes subheading. Beneath that, explain the name differences. Click on Preview to check your work. Make sure that the inline citations are properly showing in the Biography and Sources section. Go to the middle of this screen and explain your changes. This is strongly recommended for all Wikitree users and is required for data doctors. For me, I identify myself as a data doctor. Copy the suggested number and name and explain what I changed. Save your work. Take this opportunity to add relevant sources to Daniel's relatives' profiles. Return to the Suggestions report and on the far right, click on Status. On the Suggestion Status page, make sure your Wikitree ID is showing. Since Suggestion 134 has also been resolved, check Status for related suggestions. Next, of the five status options, choose one. In this case, corrected. Leave a comment from the comment hints or make one of your own. Click the Update Status button. The last screen shows the status history has recorded your changes. And you're done. You are invited to like this video and even leave a comment if you wish. Also, keep up to date with new videos by subscribing to our Wikitree YouTube channel. On behalf of the Data Doctors Project, thank you for watching.